Hello students, welcome to the YouTube live classes for English class 9 led by Osepa. I am Sri Biplav Kishor Purohit of Kharsanmar Panchayat High School, Sambalpur. Today, as per the schedule, we are going to have some question answers to the story that you have already read in the last chapter, in the last classes, the first day. So, here, do you remember Ammu and Mrs. Mohan and her angry father Mr. Chillappa for the story, the first day? Here, this is Ammu. Ammu was a very poor, miserable, 10 year old girl child. She actually wanted to study, but there were some problems. We will learn about it. Chillappa, the angry man, her father and the watchman at the big house which was on the hill. This is Mrs. Mohan. Mrs. Mohan was the owner of the big house and the employer of Ammu. So, before the question answer section begins, let us recapitulate the whole story one by one point. So, here we go. Ammu was a 10 year old girl. You remember Ammu? Yes. Her mother was no more. Yes, she was a motherless child. He, she had only her father. Okay. Her father was Chillappa. What is his, her father's name? Chillappa. Her brother was Chinni. Chillappa was the watchman at the big house. The big house which was on the top of the hill. He wanted to send Chinni to school. Chinni, you remember? Uh, Ammu's younger brother? Father Chillappa wanted to send Chinni to school. But not Ammu. So, he needed money to send Chinni to school for his school fees. So, he engaged Ammu at the big house as a Housemaid. Housemaid means a female who is a servant. Female servant is housemaid. Ammu was very sad when she came to know that her father wanted to send Chinni to school but not her. She became very very sad and she also wanted to go to school and when she was deprived of this facility of brother God the facility. But she didn't get the facility so she became very very sad when her father said what will you do? What is the use of education to you? You will be married before you pass class 3 or standard 3. But anyhow she started to work at the big house as a housemaid. The owner of the house and her employer. Remember the name? Yes, Mrs. Mohan. She was Mrs. Mohan. She was widow and a retired headmistress. Retired headmistress. As you, in your school, you may have some headmaster or headmistress. Headmaster is a masculine gender and headmistress means feminine gender. Okay. So, she was retired headmistress. Now, she had come to live in the big house. And now she had become the employer of Ammu. She was kind and caring. What does she like? She was very kind and caring. Caring to all. Especially when she saw Ammu, a very small child, 10 year old child. She had come to work in her house as a maid. She felt somewhat sad. And automatically she showed kindness. Okay, just a motherly kindness he showed towards Ammu. Ammu was surprised 
at her sympathetic behavior. Sympathetic behavior means kind and polite manner. Okay, first you remember the story when Amu came to that big house. She offered her a glass of tea and during the lunch time she put aside some meal for Amu. Before she ate, she put aside some food for Amu and also asked Amu, have your lunch first. She also talked with Amu. She wiped the tears from Amu's eyes. All this sympathetic behavior was very, very impressive. Amu was very much impressed. She was surprised also. How can an employer be so kind towards a housemaid? She was surprised. Actually, Mrs. Mohan wanted to help Amu study. When Mrs. Mohan saw that Amu was not going to school, rather she worked as a housemaid. She also wanted her study. Okay, but the problem was money. So, what did she do? She offered her to pay her school fees. Yes, the problem was money. And money for school fees is not a big deal for any retired handmistress. And so she said, I will pay the school fees for you. Okay? Next, there were also some problems. Amu said, if she went to school, who would work for Mrs. Mohan and who would cook food for her brother and father? That was also a genuine problem. As they didn't have a mother at the house. Yes, Chillapa could have done that. But probably he was not interested in doing any type of household chores or household activities like cooking or something. So finally Amu had to do all the things. So Amu said if she went to school then there would be some problem. So Mrs. Mohan had another plan. What did she plan? Finally, she started teaching Amu at her own house. She became the new teacher of Amu. She started teaching her at her own house. Okay. And what was Amu's feeling? She was very, very happy. Amu became a happy child. A great transformation from a sad, poor, miserable child to a happy child. Yes. Amu was very happy at the decision and the step taken by Mrs. Mohan. So, in the story, we see three characters mainly. Amu, a poor 10 year old girl, who is the protagonist, means the main character of the story, and uh, her father, Chilappa, who is somewhat selfish in nature. Yes. We can say that. Who was partial towards the son, towards his son. He wanted to send him to school and deprived Amu from education. Okay. And he also wanted Amu to get married very early. And it is also a very bad thing for girls in our country. Child marriage is very bad. And Despite, and there is no matter whether he is a boy or a girl, every child should be educated. Okay? So, next, shall we go to the question and answer section? Okay. So, we have already gone through the summary line by line, how the story went on. And now, we are going to the question and answer section. As per the schedule today, we have to do the question answers. And as your summative one has already is already over and summative two is approaching in April, you will be asked many questions in the form of MCQ. MCQ means multiple choice type questions. So Amu learned the alphabets on the first day, thus he took the first day. Towards our goal. So, what is the goal? Goal is to be a good human being, first of all. Next, to help others. Next, to earn money by doing some 
profession or business so let's see how far you have understood and remember the story we will start with some multiple choice type questions that is m c q so here we go for the first question so shall we okay amu was 10 years old what was amu's age 7 years 10 years 6 years or 11 years what was amu's age do you remember ha huh. so the answer goes 10 years old option b the answer is option b amu was 10 years old okay so here we go for the next question father asked amu to what what to do father mr chillappa asked amu to do what to polish his shoes to remove the sleep from her eyes to make tea for him or to take the vessel of milk what did he ask to do yes to make tea for him early in the morning when amu was asleep and uh, chillappa came with the vessel of milk and shook amu awake and take the milk and make tea for me he said you remember okay so here we go for the next question question number 3 Dash tried to wake up Ammu. Who tried? Who tried to wake up Ammu? Was it Father Chillappa, Mother, Ammu's friend, or the writer? Who tried to wake up Ammu in the morning? Yes, Ammu's father, Father Chillappa, woke up Ammu by shaking her away. Okay. Question number four. Ammu yawned. And that's what did she do after yawning? Yawning, you understand? What did she do after yawning? Amu rose with a sigh. Amu rubbed up the sleep from her eyes. She got ready to make tea, or she blew on the flames. What was the first thing after yawning she did? So. the actual answer is she rubbed up the sleep from her eyes when we get up in the morning we feel our yawning and stirring and we rubbed up the sleep from our eyes okay she rubbed up the sleep from from her eyes after yawning okay so shall we go to the next question From her father's hand, Amu took what? Father's hand, Amu took what? What did Amu take? The vessel of milk, the tea, or the wood, or milk and sugar. What had her father brought? Bring. So the actual answer is the vessel of milk. A father held out a vessel of milk. What Amu received to make tea. Okay, so here we go for the next question. As Amu blew on the flames, what happened? Amu had to make tea. She blew on the flames. What happened when she blew on the flames? Smoke came out. Her eyes watered from the smoke. The flames. Rose up, she got burnt. What happened when Amu blew? Her eyes watered from the smoke. When she blew, the smoke entered his eye, entered her eyes, and her eyes started burning, and tears ran down her eyes. Eyes watered from the smoke. Okay. The next question. Who did the owner of the house want for her? Owner of the house. You remember who the owner of the house? Mrs. Mohan. Mrs. Mohan wanted whom? A reliable maid, a faithful servant, a guard, or a manager. Who did she want? Yes. Option number A. A reliable 
made. She wanted a reliable mate. Okay? And who became the reliable mate? Yes? Ammu. Ammu became the reliable mate for her. The next question goes, What was Chilappa? What was Chilappa means? What was his profession? What was his job? Duty? What was Chilappa means? What was his profession or job? The servant, the watchman, the guard, or the manager. What was Chilappa? What was his profession? Yes. He was the watchman, watchman at the big house. Okay. The next question, the owner of the big house died. First way, died. The actual owner, not Mrs. Mohan. The actual owner of the big house died. When? A month ago, two weeks ago, or three days ago, or a couple of months ago. When did the actual owner die? Yes. A couple of months ago. About two months ago he died. Okay. Chillappa needed money. Chillappa needed money. For what? To support the family? To send chimney to school? To buy milk for tea? Or to fix up a most marriage? What are the things that Chillappa needed money? She had also told it to Ammu. Yes, the correct answer is to send Chinni to school. So Chinni had to go to school as the school fees and other things to buy. Chillappa wanted money and he fulfilled it by engaging Ammu at the big house as a housemaid. Okay. So, he needed money to send Chinni to school. Chinni is, who is Chinni? Chinni is almost little brother or almost sister. Chillappa's nephew or Chillappa's niece. Um, Chinni is almost little brother. Do you remember how old was he? He was five years old. Chinni was 5 years old and Amu was 10. Okay? So the next question, Chinni will get a job. According to Chillappa, Chillappa thought, Chinni would get, Chinni will get a job if, what? He reads well, he is educated, he goes to school with Amu, he cleans the house. What should Chinni do? If he is educated, the correct option is B. If he is educated, Chinni will get a job. Okay. So the next question is, hearing her father's rude words. Father was somewhat rude. And partial, not sympathetic towards Ammu, as Ammu was a girl child. So, hearing her father's rude words, Ammu, what did she do? Stop talking to her father? Burst into tears. Turned away to hide her tears? Or cursed her father? What did she do? She turned away to hide her tears. Actually when Chilappa said, What will education be to you? You will be get married before you complete your standard 3. Means there was no value of education for Ammu. But Ammu wanted to study. When she realized the situation was totally unfavorable for her, she cried, she wept. But she didn't want her father to see her tears, so she turned her face to hide her tears. She turned her face, okay, to hide her tears, okay. So here we go for the next question. Chillappa asked Ammu. Chillappa asked Ammu to reach the new house. Ammu became the housemaid. So, what was the time he had asked to reach the new house? Was the time at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock or 9 o'clock? What was the time? Yes, you are right. The time was 9 o'clock. Ammu had to reach the new house at 
nine o'clock. And next uh, question is, the new owner was dressed in dress. What was her dress look? What was the color? What was the costume? Was it purple? Was it a spotless white sari? Or grey sari? Or she was dressed in maroon? You remember, Mrs. Mohan was a widow. What type of dress widows wear? Yes, it was a spotless white sari. Option B is the correct answer. Okay? So here we go for the next question. Mrs. Mohan asked Tillappa. Mrs. Mohan asked means wanted him to do what? To come at 9 in the morning? To carry in the suitcases? To help her out? Or to come the other day? In the evening when Mrs. Mohan came for the first time to the new house, Tillappa introduced Amu as the new servant. Then Mrs. Mohan ordered Chillappa to do something. What did she ask him to do? To carry in the suitcases. She had brought only some suitcases or necessary things. And she asked Chillappa to carry in. Means to take the suitcases and let them in. Okay. So the next question. When Amu reached Mrs. Mohan, offered her what? Amu reached the next morning to Mrs. Mohan's house. What was the first thing that Mrs. Mohan offered her? What was the first thing? To have a glass of tea, to have breakfast, to have lunch, or to have some rest. As soon as Amu reached the big house, what did she ask to do? To have a glass of tea, have breakfast, have lunch or some rest. What? She asked her to have a glass of tea. Okay. An employer on the first day to the housemaid, means servant. It rarely happens that a house owner or the employer are so much kind towards their servants. Offering tea. At the starting of the day, it is a rare thing. Yes, she was very, very kind. Okay. So the next question is, Das drew Ammu like a magnet. You know magnet? Magnet attracts iron and some other metals. They are called magnetic objects. Magnet pulls. Similarly, what was the thing? That pulled Ammu towards it. Miss Ammu got attracted towards what in the house? Was it the bookcase or the kitchen, the duster or the big house? What are the thing that attracted Ammu? Drew like a magnet. Ammu actually wanted to study. And when she entered the big house, she went for cleaning or dusting. She saw a bookcase. And the bookcase was the first thing that attracted Ammu. Because she wanted to study when she saw a lot of books. She was very much impressed and excited. She went there, touched the books, fingered them. Means touching with finger. Okay, as if the most lovable thing. She touched the books. You remember, she had taken out a picture book and was watching the pictures. Yes, the bookcase attracted her just as a magnet would attract the magnetic objects. Okay. The next question is, Mrs. Mohan set aside food for whom? Mrs. Mohan had cooked some simple food. During the lunch time, she took half and kept half of the food for whom? Who was inside the house? Except her? Was it Silappa? Was it Chinni? Amu's brother? Or 
her own daughter her own daughter was in bombay she was married and she was in bombay and the last option is amu who else was there with mrs mohan at that time in the house yes it is right it was amu amu is the correct answer she said food for amu she set aside food for amu then the other half she ate it was a simple lunch you remember the story yes very good so here we go for the next question then i have another plan mrs mohan said then i have another plan what was the plan the plan was it to send amu to school to teach amu every day to pay amu school fees or to send amu away go away did she do like that the option d no she never sent away amu okay so the correct answer is c wanted to what was the plan c the plan was to teach ammu every day after completing the household chores ammu had to come to mrs mohan and mrs mohan was to teach her every day you remember the story very well mrs mohan is ready to teach ammu how long how much time mrs mohan was ready to teach amu but how long how much time till she completely educated till amu is completely educated till then or as long as she wants or as long as she works there as a housemaid or as long as she pays her so the correct answer is as long as she wants she means ammu as long as ammu wants mrs mohan will teach her okay so the next question is who said the sentence we have to see well shall we begin it shall we begin today itself with a great zeal and enthusiasm who said this shall we begin was it mrs mohan chillappa ammu or mrs mohan's daughter yes the correct answer is ammu ammu was very very happy okay so when mrs mohan proposed her to study she said shall we begin today itself okay the next question is mrs mohan began teaching ammu with what she began teaching what was the first thing that she did that she taught was it the alphabet the counting number 1 2 3 4 4 or short stories she started the started teaching by telling her stories or was it a song that she started with yes she started with the alphabet alphabet is the correct answer okay so after learning amu was what what was amu's mood mental condition after learning learning for one hour she learned alphabets and after learning what was her mental condition or mood was she sad was she nervous or was she happy or worried yes ah correct answer is she was very very happy she was happy her condition was Amu was happy after learning. Amu was happy. Okay, so shall we go for the next question? What is the slogan of the story? Slogan of the story or the main theme of the story? The story we you have already read in three different classes, and now we have already summarized the story, and we have. i uh, dealt with many question and answers now what do you think what should be the slogan of the story is it education for the rich should the rich people be educated only is it it a uh, uh, student poor be poor gets uh, get uh, the chance to be educated or the option b education for boys 
Isn't it a partiality that boys should only be sent to school? Yes, girls also should go to school. They must go to school. Okay, so option C, education for the townsfolk. Townsfolk means people who live in the town. Should they only get the chance to go to school? No, our government and many private bodies have also opened up schools in village, rural areas and also in some remote places. So option D, education for all. Should all be educated? Yes, of course, everybody, all should be educated. And our correct option is education for all is the slogan of the story. So, what is the slogan of the story? Education for all. Okay? So, now we will go to another type of answering the questions. We have to remember the whole story, the dialogues spoken by different characters. The main active characters in the story are Chillapa and Mohan, Mrs. Mohan, who said this we have to answer who said this i have a younger brother i have a younger brother who said this who is i who said this was it chillappa chillappa had a younger brother was it ammu ammu had a younger brother yes yes it was chinni and mrs mohan there is no nothing in the story that she had a younger brother or not Ammu had a younger brother. It was Chinni. So, I have a younger brother was said by Ammu. Okay. Ammu is the correct answer. The next one. I do not need your help today. I don't need your help today. Who said? Who didn't need the help? Chilapa said, Ammu said or Mrs. Mohan said. It was Mrs. Mohan. Mrs. Mohan said she didn't need Ammu's help. Ammu had cleaned the whole house just the previous day. And Mrs. Mohan didn't need her help that day. She said this sentence, I don't need your help today. Okay? The next question. The money will be useful. The money will be useful. Who said this? Who needed money actually? Was it Chilappa, Ammu or Mrs. Mohan? Who needed money? I, the, sorry, the, the money will be useful. Who said this? Yes, the correct answer is Chilappa. Chilappa needed money to send Chinni to school. And how did, how did he want to get it? By engaging Ammu as a housemaid. Chillappa said this sentence. The next question is, My father will never agree in a crime tone. My father will never agree. Whose father? Ammu's father. Who was that? Was it Chillappa? Was it Ammu herself? Or Mrs. Mohan? Who said this sentence? It was Ammu. Ammu said, Ammu said that her father will never agree her sending to school. Okay? So, the next question. I shall teach you every day. I shall teach you every day. Who said this? Chilappa said. Ammu said. Mrs. Mohan said. Yes? Who said this? I shall teach you every day. Mrs. Mohan said. I shall teach you Mrs. Mohan wanted to teach Ammu, so this sentence was said by Mrs. Mohan. Okay? So, the next question. <coughs> Who said this sentence? I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Chilapa? Ammu or Mrs. Mohan? Who said this? Yes, the correct answer is Chilapa. Do you remember? Early in the morning, when Chillappa came, held out a vessel of milk to Ammu and asked her to make tea. After making tea, Chillappa said, I want to talk to you, come outside. I want to talk to you, said by Chillappa. The next question is, I will be busy all day at the big house. 
who was going to be G at the big house? Was it Chillappa, Ammu or Mrs. Mohan? Yes, Chillappa. Chillappa said, I'll be busy all day at the big house. Okay, when he was about to go to the house, he said this sentence. Okay, so next sentence, shall we begin today itself? In the last part of the summary, uh, last part of the MCQ, we learned, yes, shall we begin today itself? With a great zeal and enthusiasm. Who said this? Chillapa. Chillapa wanted to start something, begin something. Or Ammu wanted to begin something. Or Mrs. Mohan. Who said this sentence? Yes, Ammu is the correct answer. And she wanted to begin learning. She wanted to begin learning. Okay, so this sentence was said, right? I would like to go to school too. I would like to go to school too. In a very sad and anxious voice, who said this? Was it Chillappa, Ammu, or Mrs. Mohan? Who said this? It was Ammu. When Father Chillappa said, What will education be to you? If Chinni is educated, he will get a job. At that time, Ammu had said this sentence, I would like to go to school too. Okay, so here we go for the next type of questions. Arrange the jumbled sentences in proper order to get the story. You have gone through the story very well. We have summarized it also. <laughs> now, the entire story will be written in six sentences but the sentences are not in the proper order as the story goes from the beginning to the end. Something happens first, something happens next but they will be written in a disorder manner. Your job is to arrange them in the proper order so that we can get the complete story okay, in chronological order. What happened first, you have to arrange that first. What happened next, you have to arrange it next. So, here, can you see the six sentences? Let's read them one by one and try to arrange them in a chronological order. If you have your copies, then use your pen to mention Whichever happens first, whichever happens next, the numbers only if you can arrange, then we will check how far your answer is correct. So, the jumbled order, here we go. Mrs. Mohan knew about Amu's desire. What does Amu's desire? Mrs. Mohan knew about it. Mrs. Mohan thought of starting a school. Third, Ammu lived with her father and brother. Number four, Mrs. Mohan told Ammu that she would pay her school fees. Number five, Mrs. Mohan taught Ammu the alphabets. <laughs> and the sixth sentence is, Chillappa wanted Ammu to work as a maid, a housemaid. So these are the six sentences in or disorder manner, you have to arrange them systematically, chronologically and you have to write the serial numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whichever comes first, you have to write first, at least the serial number you write and we will check shortly what, how far your answers match with the correct answers. So, try to write them. I let you a few seconds to think about it. Yes, try it.
Have you completed? Have you completed everybody? Okay. So here we go for the correct answers. Whichever thing happened first, we will write it on the right side of the screen that will appear. And one by one, we will do. Let's see what happened first. Ammu lived with her father and brother. That happened first. Ammu lived with her father and brother. That happened first out of all these. So number three came to number one. Now let's go for the second. What happened next? Huh? Ah, Chillappa wanted Ammu to work. As a maid, Chillappa wanted Ammu to work as a maid. Maid means girl, servant or female servant. Third thing is, Mrs. Mohan knew about Ammu's desire. She wanted to learn, she wanted to study. Mrs. Mohan came to know about Ammu's desire to study. The next is, Mrs. Mohan thought of starting a school. So, option number 2 comes to be serial number 4. Mrs. Mohan thought of starting a school. School for the unfortunate girl child. Unfortunate child like Ammu who wanted to study but they were deprived of the facility. The reason may be different but they were deprived of study. Ammu and other children could come to that school. She wanted to turn the big house a school and the, she, as she was a retired hemistress, she could teach them very well. So, the fourth serial number becomes Mrs. Mohan thought of starting a school and what? There are only two left. Mrs. Mohan told Ammu that she would pay her school fees or Mrs. Mohan taught Ammu the alphabets. What happened first? She told she would pay her school fees or she taught her. Yes, the correct option is option number 4. Mrs. Mohan told Ammu that she would pay her school fees. But Ammu denied. She said, if I go to school, then who will cook for my mother, my father and my brother and who will work for you? So she changed the plan. She started teaching Ammu and the last option will become the last serial. Okay. <coughs> Mrs. Mohan taught Ammu the alphabets. A, B, C, D, the alphabets she taught. Okay. So, this is the correct serial. We will go through it once again. So, what happened first? Ammu lived with her father and brother. Then Chillappa wanted Ammu to work as a maid. Third, Mrs. Mohan knew about Ammu's desire to study. The next, Mrs. Mohan thought of starting a school, a school for the unfortunate children like Ammu. Next, Mrs. Mohan offer told Amu that she would pay her school fees but this thing this plan was rejected by Amu so what happened Mrs. Mohan planned to teach her teach Amu at her own house so what did she teach first Mrs. Mohan taught Amu the alphabets so dear students here we come to the end of the class and I hope you have gone through the story you have gone through the story and thanks all for watching learning and practicing with me and if by chance you have still some doubt you can go through your book yourself or you can talk to your school teacher or 
you can watch again the same YouTube live classes. Thank you. Goodbye. Jai Hind.